story, uh, 11 vehicles were impounded by Dubai police. Uh, so they seized 11 vehicles for various reasons, including reckless driving, organizing unauthorized rallies, causing road disturbances, making unauthorized modifications to their vehicles, engines and chassis, disturbing residents and littering on public roads. It does seem like these vehicles were impounded on different days. <clears throat> and some people were, uh, were saying in the comments that it looked like they were celebrating uh, Saudi National Day. So these were definitely taken on different days. Well, um... A 50,000 dirham fine where penalty was imposed on the impounded vehicles. And this is all in accordance with the decree number 30 of 2023 for the release of the vehicle, of course, um, because the UAE, um, we know that the UAE does not support any form of, I would say that's not anything that can disturb the peace of the roads, peace of the country and the city. Specifically, yeah, yeah, no, that's especially true, and that's why the fines are really, really high when you do that sort of like violations, especially mm-hmm. on the road. Like, it's not safe for you, but it's also not safe for other people on the road with you. Um, it's a bit of an inconsiderate kind of um, situation to put yourself and put other people in with you as well. So the fines are pretty high to get your vehicle um, out of the impounds, fifty thousand dirham. So it's not a small price to pay at all, but. <clears throat> If you took a look at the video, basically it just shows uh, there are a lot of people like standing on the outside of their car, out the window. Um, There was a lot of like, obviously like revving, honking the horn, Mm -hmm. all that stuff and like driving recklessly in general. So, I mean, I get that some of them were celebrating an occasion, but at the same time, like you need to do it really mindfully. And nothing that would violate um, the laws of the city. I agree with you. Um, What I love and what makes Dubai Dubai is that you do have your freedom to celebrate, to um, voice an opinion, as long as it is not affecting others. Because that's what makes Dubai um, one of the safest uh, cities in the world. You know what I mean? And like, um, if they are like um, doing all of these acts on the road, they are not only... putting their lives in danger. However, they also are putting the lives of other people in danger. Because you never know, um, I all the time, my dad all the time tells me like, you know what, Farah, it takes a second, a second to get into an accident and to jeopardize your life. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And the lives of others. So I don't think anyone would really want to jeopardize their, their The left yeah, at this point. yeah, yeah. No, it's not a, it's, it's not an easy situation, and it's, it's definitely not taken lightly at all by Dubai mm-hmm. police. Like they will enforce the law, and um, you might think you can get away with it and all that stuff, no. but there are cameras everywhere, as you could see from that video. Like you're not likely to get away with, um, with, with much if Anything. you think you would. No, the thing is, like you don't, you can't even really get away with anything. You no. know what I mean? Like, the, like. The Dubai police, they are so, I would say, vigilant mm-hmm. to everything that's happening around in the city. Whether it is cars, whether it is um, scams or thefts that happen. And that's what makes people who live in Dubai know like, oh yeah, you know what? I live in Dubai. I'm going to put my phone here and no one's going to take it. Mm-hmm. Because the people that are around, they know that if they would ever take it or they would take it, they will for sure get caught. But 